We're at Farnborough Sh Air Show 2018. We've dropped in to see Orbex and Chris, the CEO, is that correct? That's right, yep. Good afternoon. Hi, Colin. Now, thanks, thanks for letting us on here because you've been absolutely inundated with people, you know, BBC, Channel 4, Channel 5, MTD, what can I say? Tell me what you do. Uh, we're building space rockets, literally building space rockets for launch from the United Kingdom. We're building them all in-house, all our own engineering, using advanced materials, metals, carbon fibre. Okay, so where's your first site going to be? Um, the launch site that we announced this week with funding from the UK government is in Sutherland in the north coast of Scotland. Okay. We have to get that right because I got it wrong there. I do apologise. I do too and I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to throw a few figures at you though. First of all, 30 million. Yeah, 30 million is what we announced this week in funding 30 million pounds, about 40 million dollars. Um, that's a big funding round for us to start making strong progress towards building the launchers, opening a new factory in Scotland. It's our second factory. Uh, and start building uh, bigger structures and more engines and avionics in Scotland. I think it's just a great example of innovation and inspiration in the UK. So, in terms of rockets themselves, they're more efficient than rockets that we see at the moment? Yeah, they are. We're using a, a new fuel to space like propane. We all know it from camping gas and uh, home eating LPG, a standard LPG. We purify it, we chill it, um, and it's got a very interesting property. It doesn't freeze when you bring it down to liquid oxygen temperatures. That allows us to build a lighter vehicle that's more efficient, about 20% more efficient than anyone else out there. Okay. Uh, faster, or does it need to be faster or anything like that? It's the same speed. You need, right. one of the, although it's a smaller rocket that we're building, it's sort of a micro launcher, it, it needs to be the same speed as a large launcher to achieve orbital velocity, yeah. and it needs to be guided with the same level of precision to get it to the right place in orbit at the right time. Okay. Now, sending the rockets into space, you're launching satellites, now small micro and nano, is that right? That's correct, and, they're, and they're, they, they're literally the size they sound like. Nano is tiny, a few hundred grams. Uh, small satellites, CubeSats, are a kilo to 10 kilos, approximately. And then uh, our largest satellite would be about 100, 150 kilograms. And that, that could do an awful lot, though, in this day's, uh, in this day's market. I say, straight away, I think in nano, you're putting something into space the size of a, an iPhone, if I, and other phones are available. Um, how is that going to work, though? Well, they're, they're tiny, but they're quite, you can, you can think of them like smartphones in space, actually. They're very capable nowadays. All of that miniaturization that's gone over the past decades that's gone into smartphones, satellites can be built like that nowadays, too. Um, their lifetimes are designed to be, you know, months, even days in some cases. They don't have to survive very long in space. They'll fall back into the atmosphere and burn up. Okay. And they're designed to be sort of semi-disposable, actually. Right. So a good business model, model for you guys. For us, it's great, yeah. And we get to replenish the, the more... Um, commercial operators will want to replenish those satellites and, and have constantly launching more upgraded new software, new hardware over time. So for us it's good. Yeah, no, absolutely fantastic. It's a great example of innovation in the UK. We're really, really looking forward to the project going forward. And it's just to clarify, first launch date? Uh, it'll be during 2021, but I'll be honest, the space launch industry has a dismal record <laughs> of getting the launch date right. So I'm sure I'll join that dismal record at some point, and I'm not going to be any, any closer to that than a year at this point. No problem at all. We won't hold you to it, Chris. Thank you ever so much.